I am back in Kotal. Okay, so a little bit of a last minute trip to Kotal because we've got a retreat here in October um, and I need to find some accommodation where there was a problem with one of our villas that we were supposed to be renting for October. So I've come back for literally one day to scour the island for, uh, for a new villa for our guests for New Horizon Escapes. So right now it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and I literally have just gotten off the boat. It was a long journey with lots of delays. Um, then I've got a meeting at about five o'clock to go and see some villas. So the villas we usually stay in here are um, absolutely beautiful and we are still gonna be using them in the future. However, there was a little bit of a hiccup which now means one of the villas is not available. I got this information two days ago that one of the villas that we wanted is now not available for October. So it was a last minute dash to come here uh, to try and find some new villas. I've, I've looked all over this island for villas in the past for our other retreats. And it's a bit of a challenge to find a villa that can host the number of people that we need. So game on. That's visit number one done. I uh, went to have a look around a villa. It was really cool actually, really kind of hidden away in the jungle. Really peaceful, really nice. Had a cool little coffee shop down below. Um, but I uh, couldn't actually get in to have a look inside the villa. I was under the impression I was going to be able to have a look and see the villas from the inside but there was guests in there so I'm coming back tomorrow to have a look on the inside my second appointment for the day actually cancelled on me I've got to go and see them tomorrow as well um, so it looks like tomorrow is gonna be the visit day because the third villa that I'm going to have a look around is actually it's on the totally opposite side of the island and it's now it's now nearly five o'clock I don't really want to be going there when it's dark so I think tomorrow morning is going to be the best bet. You know what? It's five o'clock. There's only one thing for it. The famous Kotal sunset. So I've come to one of my favorite spots on the island, Blue Water, uh, for some coffee and to sit here and watch the sun go down. It's a hard life. sunset actually gets really really cool after it goes down behind the horizon uh, but it's I wait for so long for the Sun to go down and right now it's cardio time okay time for a super quick change into my gym gear shoot to the gym 40 minutes of cardio and then it's dinner time with the cardio the power in the gym went off like three times so I had to restart my treadmill 
and to wait for the incline to go down before I could turn it back on so it goes up. And, but I got there. 40 minutes of steady state cardio done. My stomach is growling like crazy. So now I'm going to meet a good friend of mine, Ben, and we're going to go out for some dinner. By the way, guys, I have been weighing all of my food, obviously pre-competition now, less than 12 weeks to go. I've been weighing all my food quite vigorously. Um, I'm away now. It's very, very difficult to, I don't have a kitchen in this hotel room. Uh, so in restaurants, there's a lot of guesswork going into it. But for me, it's just about keeping it simple, not getting anything too crazy with too many ingredients that I don't understand in there. So it's gonna be a very simple dinner, probably some fish, um, veggies, and some sort of complex carbohydrate. I'm keeping it simple. There's gonna be nothing complicated going on in my food tonight. Unless they have pizza. Then, then there may be, may be a problem. This is what I'm eating tonight, and this is what Ben's going for tonight. <laughs> it has been a long and not very productive day today. Um, by the time I got here and actually started trying to do anything, um, it was already night time. So, haven't achieved very much today, which means I need to achieve double tomorrow. Um, hoping to still get back on that three o'clock ferry, which means I need to go around three different properties uh, before lunchtime, really, uh, to make sure that I get on that ferry. Right now, though, it's late, I'm tired, and I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> Body. Uh, it's another day in Kotal today. I've been up, I've done my fasted cardio this morning, but it is a beautiful day. You can't really see. Um, so today is a jam packed day. I still want to try and get back to Kosamui on the three o'clock ferry, but I've got three different properties to look around until then. So it's rush, rush, rush. Cardio is done, out the way. I'll do my weight session when I get back to Kosamui. But first, I need to get some breakfast. <laughs> Looks like I made a new friend this morning, huh? <laughs> Ow! So my new friend will not <laughs> let me leave without first biting every part of my body. Stop it. So I'm here now at one of the potentials for where we're going to be holding the retreat. Let's go and take a look. Appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Bye. Wow, so that was a beautiful resort called Cape Shark Villas, guys. Seriously, check it out. If you're ever in Koh Tao and you want a night somewhere that's really, really special, go to Cape Shark Villas. You will not be disappointed with that. Um, I couldn't really show you guys uh, the other villas that I went to have a look around because they actually had guests staying there. Uh, they weren't 
you know, the, the, the villas hadn't been cleaned or anything like that, it wouldn't have really made for good viewing in a vlog. Uh, but they were all very nice. Um, Cape Shark Villas definitely gets the thumbs up for the nicest place. Um, the only downside is that it is literally as far as you can go the other side of the island from where everything else is on the island. So that's the downside. Uh, they do free transfers, so I just need to try and work out what is going to be best for our group uh, for the retreat uh, because I mean the places are stunning. In terms of if I could pick those villas up and move them towards where all the restaurants and, and cafes are, 100% hands down, I would pay another 20% on top of what I'm prepared to pay just to have that. Um, but unfortunately that's not the case. It is a little bit of a trek out of the way. Um, but that's pretty much it for, for my time here in Koh Tao. I've had a look around three different properties. I've got some thinking to do. I now need to run a last couple of errands, pick my stuff up and then shoot to the pier because uh, I think I've got about an hour and a half, two hours before my ferry leaves. Um, so don't want to miss that because it's the last ferry of the day. And I guess I'll probably see you on the ferry. First, I need to pick up some travel essentials. Yeah, five falafel. And can I get two portions of the, the snack satay as well? back on dry land after a nice smooth journey on the ferry um, so I'm back to Koh Samui back to my home and that is it for this episode of the vlog uh, thanks so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed hopefully you got to see a little bit of what I do I run around all over the place not achieving very much looking for villas um, but I've definitely got some food for thought in terms of the villas uh, there's a good selection out there and now I've just got to make a decision so as always guys, if you did like the vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like my channel, please feel free to subscribe. And if you've got any questions, comments, anything you'd like to say, please feel free to write them in the comments section below. So that's it for now. I will see you next time.